Hey students, I heard a lot of you guys uh, asking about my get your shit together stuff. I want to make a little abridged version, uh, one for uh, email specifically, um, just because I think this is really important and you guys are going to spend most of your time on and we use Gmail, so why not learn it really well? Uh, so I want to kind of show you my personal, just because I don't have, I don't want to have any kind of sensitive material shown, uh, and my personal life is not that exciting. So uh, first, I want to talk about the inbox layout. This is kind of the default inbox layout. And we're going to actually change this. Uh, I personally do not like the inbox layout as it comes standard um, because they have this uh, feature called the priority inbox. Um, so if you go to this and you switch this to the priority inbox, you get to kind of choose uh, four different types, up to four uh, inboxes that kind of display on top of each other. And you can say this is important and on red and how many items you want to see. Um, and it's, it's fantastic. It shows uh, markers of importance. Um, based on what uh, you normally open or what's BCC'd to you. So they get kind of marked as important. However, you can go in and see some things and you can mark them as unimportant. If they're not, and they'll kind of get out of the way. So it pre-sorts your email really, really nicely. Now you can also do some other things where you can add these automatic filters uh, or labels. So you can go to this specific email um, and filter messages like this. And since it's also a you know, emailed from a listserv that I don't really care about. This is a great way to kind of unsubscribe from all of that. I'm going to create a filter with anything from that. I'm just going to say market is red because I do not use that service anymore or I can just say delete it. Um, and I can also apply it to the matching conversations that are in this filter already that it just kind of popped up. So I'm going to create that filter and then everything is going to get automatically deleted as it comes into my inbox from that specific provider. You can also do that the same way I've set up a label here that puts PMT on it. You could put the same thing for internships or NYU or other great things. It's really fantastic. Now there's this uh, feature called snoozing where you can actually take a couple emails and have them say, hey, uh, I can't deal with this right now. Can you uh, put this back at the top of my e uh, email inbox, uh, let's say later today at 11? and it will go away, it'll kind of archive them slightly and then they will pop back at the top of your inbox uh, in a bit, or at least that one did. I did it individually here. You can also do it here for the, all of the selections um, and so that makes both of them go away. Um, now the next is keyboard shortcuts and uh, one other thing. The, the simple thing is uh, the undo send period. This allows you to pull back an email if you sent it prematurely uh, up to 30 seconds. Basically what it does is it just kind of you know, delays you actually sending the email a bit and then gives you this window of opportunity to pull it back. And then uh, I also uh, highly suggest that you learn the, the keyboard commands. Um, so the keyboard commands are uh, sound really nerdy, but you know, we already use uh, key commands all the time. These keyboard shortcuts like uh, control copy and paste, uh, you know, command C and command V or control V, C and V. Um, so if you're on email more than any other thing, I think this is in your best interest to learn these. And how do you learn them? Um, it's actually you press a question mark, um, which is actually shift question mark. Um, and they pop up like this. And, you know, some of them are pretty, you know, simple. Like obviously, you know, that is how you put things in bold. So uh, to get things a little bit better, I look down at actions. Actions are really where you get some really cool stuff happening. You can talk about, uh, you know, how to mark things as unread how to start an email jumping from one inbox to your drafts. So G to I is go to your inbox. Um, you know, you can add a lot of cool things to it. So what I'm going to do is not even touch the mouse and press C to compose an email, um, compose it to myself. Um, and then tab tab will get you into the subject line where you can say whatever you'd like. Tab will get you into the body of this. You say hello world. Tab it again and I'm hovered over this uh, thing. You can also press, you know, command enter to send and that will send it right away. And this is where I have this undo send button that pops up that I can use in the new interface. The old interface looks a little different and you, uh, they're still rolling that out as we go. You can also just go up and down conversations with J and K, which is really helpful. You can mark them with X. So I'm just pressing JX, 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 JX. And I'm going to mark all those as red. Um, and so they all go away because I have these you know, inboxes set up where these have to be on red conversations. And as we get further down, these are some starred things that I have. And then everything else. This is where you see some important emails, some things that I just snoozed. But there's a lot down there that, you know, really isn't that important. It's not bogging down my inbox because I have a lot of filters and things all set up so I don't get inundated with anything that's not important. 
So that's something that I think is really, really helpful within Gmail. I think it's something that you guys should all set up immediately, set up some filters for anything from NYU classes, things for internships, uh, things from me, make sure those are always important or something like that. Um, and that will definitely set you up for greater success at NYU. So hopefully that helps you guys. Uh, I will uh, hopefully uh, see you guys around.